Hey, junior martial athletes, this video is for you. Okay, tonight we're gonna be working on the eight point blocking set and we're gonna be working on the 10 point blocking set as well. Okay, so for the level one students, whites or purples, you guys can do either one really, um, but it's really good to have the eight point blocking set down first. Okay, so let's talk about that real brief. So from our horse stance, nice neutral position, we're gonna work four different styles of blocks, but they're gonna be done on each hand, so that way it makes it eight. All right, so starting with number one, I'm gonna mirror you guys. Number one block is normally on the right arm. I'm gonna drop this arm down, which is my left arm, so I'm mirroring your screen here, okay? And it's gonna circle around and make a half circle and it's gonna finish just to the outside of your shoulder, out in front of your body. Number two is the same thing on the other hand. Drop down, bring it around. Tight fist, ready? Number three comes up to the side, across the body, and as the hand gets to the center line of your body, Turn the arm, but continue to bring the arm across so it ends up in line with the opposite shoulder. Okay, number four is the same thing. Come up to the side, bring the arm across. Once the arm reaches the center line of your body, turn the fist and continue the arm just a few more inches over so it's in line with the opposite shoulder. Okay, number five comes up above the head. Again, still staying out in front of the body, not directly over your head, but out in front and above. All right, like you're blocking the sun from your eyes. And then number six, same thing, comes up and above. Number seven, we start the hand up near our ear and we block the arm downward, finishing right in line with the knee in your horse stance. Not way out here, not to the side of us, but right out in front of us in line with our knee. And then same thing for number eight. Okay, let's do that one time, ready? Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. A little faster this time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. Okay, great. Don't forget the white belt rules. Knees bent, back straight, hands up, eyes forward during that stance. Okay, that stance is key to anything you're going to do with your upper body. Um, now, once you feel pretty solid with that, the eight blocks, you can start working with your half mooning. Okay, so the half moon stance. We can move in and out, and then we can do the same thing going backwards, move in and out. Whatever leg ends up in the front, that's going to be the side you use to make the block. If I go backwards, whatever leg ends up in the front, that's the side you use to do the block. Practice doing eight half moons forward, eight half moons backwards repetitively, okay? If you feel pretty solid with that, then you can even add in kicking into your half moon and your blocks, and then you can even add a follow-up punch, get really tricky with it, okay? So that's a really great drill to do for our level one students. Um, make sure that uh, you guys are letting your feet finish moving first before you actually do the block, because if you try to time it all together, the block could mess up the foot, the foot could mess up the block, everything could get a little bit out of sorts there. So always feet first, hands second. Great rule of thumb to follow for any student of any rank learning something new, but it definitely, definitely for the level one students, okay? So that's the eight point blocking set. That's from a horse stance, from half moons. And then we'll talk about um, the application of them uh, at another time. But for now, just know, it's always gonna be the forearm that you use to apply the block to whatever the strike is, okay? It's never the wrist. The wrist is a lot more fragile. That's not the hand, so just keep the hand or excuse me, keep the fist very tight, keep the wrist straight, use the shoulder to move your arm around, or whatever direction it's moving, and use the forearm to make contact during each of those eight blocks. All right, if you have questions, contact us, and we'll get everything squared away for you, just like we do in class all the time. Good luck.